Hey guys, um, JD1111 here, giving you another tutorial. I know it won't be as quick, but I'll try to make it as quick as possible, so I'll just get straight into it on how to get Sony Vegas 10 for free. Alright, so first off, you want to download this program called Big Comment. Uh, you can use uTorrent 2 or whatever, but I recommend this one as I think it's the fastest. Anyway, download it, install it, yada yada. Um, I'll put the link in the description. And then next, you're going to want to go to this link that I'll also put in the description. And what you just do here is just press get this torrent right here. If you have Firefox, it'll say this. Just press launch application. And it'll go straight to the uh, BitTorrent or BitComment. So I already downloaded this, so it says torrent task is exists. So yeah. But then you're going to want to also download WinRAR, which is just the file opener, I guess you could call it. Um, you download that. I'll also put that in the description. And then, so once you're done with that, and you have all these downloaded, all you have to do is just click, double click on one of them. And uh, files will show up in WinRAR. And so what you should probably do now is make a new folder folder I'm gonna call it Sony Vegas 10 and then you can either click this once or highlight all these doesn't really matter press extract to then you're gonna find that folder on your desktop it's right there for me press OK and then it'll load these files real quick alright then uh, once this finishes up here you can exit out of this open these files back up and then uh, depending on which version of Windows you have um, if you don't know you can check by pressing start go to computer right click press properties and then if you scroll down a little bit it'll show it right here mine's a uh, 32 bit obviously so I'm gonna download the uh, 32 bit installation double click on that, it'll ask for verification, just press yes select your language here you want to say install current version if you do this then it'll get updates and it'll find out that you're doing it wrong so click install current version press next I have read and agreed yada yada um, here just save it wherever you want I recommend just keeping it there for easy to find and I will create a shortcut install alright I'll pause the video here just wait for it to install and I'll be back when it's done alright now that that's done you can just click finish here and you can see it created a desktop or a desktop icon and now what you're gonna wanna do is in this same folder from your desktop go here Sony Vegas Pro Crack you're gonna wanna right click on it and press run as administrator if you do not do this then uh, it'll keep on saying access denied and you have to press like a million access denied boxes by just pressing OK and it's just really annoying so just make sure you do that first alright now once you're here um, this was kinda confusing at first but just follow my instructions and you'll be fine what you wanna do is uh, click this button first and then you wanna go find where you installed Sony Vegas which is not here it's wherever you installed it which for me if I told you to keep it where it was um, under hard drive program files scroll down to Sony and then Vegas Pro 10.0 just click on click on the folder and press OK and then what you want to do is add the file so it's right here and then press crack me now I'll pause the video here until it is finished and I'll be back when it's done Alright, now that that's done, we no longer need this program, so you can just click this little guy with the ton sticking out, and that'll close the program. And then next, you will need this thing called Keygen. Just double click that, it'll make annoying music, which bubble mute now. Alright, so once you're in there, you can actually open up Vegas Pro 10 now, which will pop up here, and it'll just bring you to the setup. Alright, now here, make sure you click I have a serial number, and then in here, you're going to want to go down and click Vegas Pro 9.0 series, and then it'll give you a serial number here, just copy and paste it into here, but here it says 1R8, 
So just make sure you change this to R8. And then you can click next. And here is important too because you want to make sure you click register from another computer. And click next. Next. And here just put in whatever information you want. All of it can be fake. It doesn't really matter. It's my real first and last name but that can be fake too. Um, email fake. Uh, address obviously fake city obviously fake zip code obviously fake and then, um, here just say that you acknowledge and read the uh, terms yada 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 whatever alright next this is just to save your information just click save it's fine it's nothing really just to save all your information for when you reinstall it or whatever I already have it so I'm just gonna replace it Alright, let's click next and then your authentication code, which is right here. Again, what you're gonna do is just copy like so and then paste it right in there. Press finish and it'll start up. You can exit out of this, no longer needed. And there you go. All finished, done. Here you got all your uh, video effects and everything. And that's pretty much it. Alright, I want to say thanks for watching this video, and I hope it helped you. And to keep updated, you can go to my Twitter at JD1111GFX at Twitter. I will put the, all the links in the description. And thanks for watching. Bye.